Hi everybody, this is Boyd here at CCO.us along with our fellow medical coder Barbara Cipini, CPC CCS. Hello Barbara, how are you today? I'm fine, hello, how are you? I'm excellent because I'm talking to you and we're talking about the bubble and highlighting technique which is now transformed into the bat technique. So we're interviewing you today to tell you a little, ask you a little bit about how you got started with this because I understand you're one of the original people who heard about this technique back in 2000. Can you tell us a little bit about your first time hearing about bubbling and highlighting? First time bubbling and highlighting, I took a course taught by Lorene when her school was called A Plus Medical and Education. Mm -hmm. Back in 2000, I have my original CPT manual here. I couldn't get rid of it. It's um, what got me into coding. And Unique because it's a three-ring binder, the last time that it well, was... Well, it is. Many people will not notice this. This is a three-ring binder. It is the last time they published it in that, and um, I kept it. I also kept it to see how CPT has grown and how many pages this book was and how thick it is now for all the new coders. Um, and to see all the changes. There are things in 2000 that are no longer done now. So what, does that, what did it look like back then? Has it changed that much? Um, um, since? Certain rules and guidelines have changed, but um, a lot of the things, the basic structure has stayed the same. Um, this is um, the surgery section, and we would, Maureen would teach us to highlight and bubble and highlight um, certain sections. I'm hoping that you can see this. These are circles that are around like codes and inside each bubble we would put a note that is specific just for that area, that bubble, and we would go through the entire section and just put the like codes and it would help us keep focus when we were taking the board exam or that was the instruction back in the day. Um, it was very time consuming. I hated it as a student. I didn't think that it would make much sense. But after taking the CPC exam, I found that this was one of the most beneficial things that I could spend my time on. What we would do is each week, Lorene would teach us a different section. So part of our homework was bubble and highlight so that we were ready for her instruction so we could put the notes that pertained to each bubble in, in, um, to get ready for the board exam. So over the years I taught for Loreen and since 2001 I've been bubbling and highlighting her book for all of her classes and I also bubble and highlight for myself because I find it still assists me in my day-to-day -day work as an auditor when auditing outpatient claims that I can go to my old books, see in the past years what was bubbled, what the notes were, then go to this year, see what's changed, change the notes, but also to keep those and also I can lend them out to my fellow auditors um, if they've never worked say in the nervous system and they're auditing outpatient claims or physician claims in the nervous system maybe they only did office work E&M codes but now they're in the auditing world I said well here's the nervous section and here's the set of codes and these were the rules back two years ago so you're going to be doing all the 2014 claims you're going to need these and you're doing 2015 so they changed so here's my copy of my book from this year so it's a method that's tried and true since the year 2000 since we started doing it and like I said we do it every year um, going forward and we're it's 2016 you do the math <laughs> We won't go there. So, uh, no. let's do it. So, yeah, it doesn't seem that long. And um, when Lorene told me that they were now, you know, calling it the Bat Cave, and did I have anything or would I be interviewed for it? I said, I've got one for you. I have the original CPT 2000 manual from back in the day. Awesome. Well, thank you for keeping that in your archives, your personal archives. Uh, not a lot of people will go through uh, that for it. So, we really appreciate that. Some now, people keep uh, their first reader. I, <laughs> right. I know I have some music books that I do that with, so I totally understand that. Now, uh, you've obviously you said that you teach this to other uh, students through the years. This technique. Can you tell a little bit about what the student aspect of that, the reaction of learning this technique, and how they kind of do sure. it? I, I, again, it was quite like mine. They thought that is so time consuming. Many of the students have full time jobs, and they're trying to fit this in because it was one night a week. It was taught over twenty weeks. Every week would be a different section of CPT and then the ICD-9 and the HICPICs thrown in there, so it was 20 weeks. Wow. Um, each week they had to do this, but as I would say to them, the bubbling and the highlighting 
you could really do on your downtime. I did it on the train going to Philadelphia mm. when I went to work. So that part you really didn't need to focus on as much. It was just circling the like codes, mm -hmm. highlighting the differences in the like codes from the parent code above. You didn't really need to be reading it. You just needed to be able to eye where it was indented, find the semicolon, highlight, 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 circle. Right. Well, I would tell everyone, circle it first, then go through and highlight it. And like I said, I would do it on the train every year when I would do Lorene's new book and my new book. Sit there on the train, an hour and a half to Philadelphia, an hour and a half home, highlight, 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 circle, circle, circle. And then when we were ready to teach it, it was done and the students could put their, you know, put your notes in it. Or I could, when I was done bubbling and highlighting the two books, then sit down and focus a few nights a week and get hers ready and mine ready for teaching, transfer all the notes. That you really needed to pay attention to. But the bubbling and highlighting was time consuming. But each one of my students, after taking the board exam, and Lorene could probably say the same thing, when I asked them what did they would find the most useful or helpful in the class so we could expand next year, they said, you know, that darn bubbling and highlighting, I hated it, but it kept me focused on the board exam and I didn't get scattered. I could stay focused into, it's not, it's not this bubble, I need to be over here because mm -hmm. this bubble says this and this note says this is where I need to be. And my understanding is that it's not just useful for the board exam. Can you tell us a little bit about your own experience and also of your students of people who have used this technique to go out into the coding world and use it? Um, sure. Work? Like I said, um, in the coding exam, you have to learn a smattering of all, but most of the time you're in a specialty. So if you're in cardio and you're a new coder there, you can go to the cardio section and you would have different bubbles, if I can try to find them here, um, different bubble sections like I think everybody knows somebody who's had a heart attack and maybe has had a heart, uh, cardiac catheterization. So you could go to the cardiac catheterization section and there's several different bubbles within that cardiac section. So here you, go. you would need to know if you had a cardiac cath, you need to be here. But did they do something else with it? We would have a note directing you to come over here and pick up this piece. But then if they did something else, there's a note to come back over here because if they put a stent in, you need to be over here. So they're not all together. So by bubbling and highlighting them, you could figure out where you needed to be. You could say, okay, I, I'm picking up a code from here, but I need to come all the way back here, three or four pages behind, to get the piece that was missing. So in my day-to-day -day work, I still use that technique and go back and I say, okay, this person had this done. The radiology piece is going to come from radiology. The surgery piece is going to come from cardio, but my diagnostic part is going to come from medicine. So I can put them all together and, I, and the, the, the notating directs you back to it. Sometimes you'll have a code in the beginning of the book and it says code also with, but it's three or four sections later. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. So you put a note in this bubble, don't forget to go to Path and Lab and add this one. Or don't forget to go to radiology because there's an intervention being done there, but the surgery piece is over here. And for the students who are looking at this or potential students that we have uh, now being introduced for, to the back technique for the first time, um, what Barbara has just gone over is is now available in our, our bat cave, as we're calling it, to uh, learn how to do this with your own. Let me see if I got them all straight now. We've got uh, the CPT manual. We've got our ICD-10 manuals. I think we have some more that we're working on right now that is on these pages where, where you're probably watching it. And uh, so that it's not just for this uh, the CPC exam, but it's really across the board now that we're expanding and using the bat technique. Okay and uh, available in our bat, uh, bat membership in the bat here at CCO. Cave. Yeah, in the bat cave. Yeah, in the bat cave. And it's, it's great that it's expanding now into ICD-10 and also into the HIC picks. Um, it was something that we had originally done in CPT, but it's, it helps them focus when you're taking any one of your board exams, your C CPC or your CCS, you have questions in all three of those right. books. Right. And it can great. be applied across the board. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for spending time with us. I don't want to keep you here too much longer. So thank you, Barbara, for sharing your experience using the bubble and highlighting technique and now the bat technique, the bat technique. and the bat. bat cave. So thank you again for joining us here at CCO.us.
Thanks for having me.